Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me. This is part 59 in my series of videos on Ontario Northland models and HO scale. What we're taking a look at today are models that have been released by Sylvan Scale Models over the years. So uh, they've... Uh... Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me. This is part 59 in my series of videos on Ontario Northland models and HO scale. And today we're taking a look at the models that have been released by Sylvan Scale Models over the years. Sylvan Scale Models out of Ontario. So they have uh, delivered both versions of the barrel ore cars, both the uh, short version and the long version, as well as uh, the wide vision caboose. So we'll start here with uh, a closer look at that wide vision caboose. So these are polyurethane kits, as you can see here, and I don't have any uh, built-up versions that I can show you. I've uh, admitted in my previous videos that I'm not much of a modeler, and I've acquired these uh, with aspirations of doing something in the future, but uh, I've not gotten that brave so far. So they've got some great uh, instructional information here um, that speaks to the uh, uh, the various... So they've got some good information that comes with the model that speaks to uh, uh, the kit specifics, of course, um, and how you may uh, um, want to uh, approach the, uh, the resin kit for cleaning before painting. And then some, uh, some additional details to aid you in construction. Now when you open the box, what you will see are uh, resin parts, polyurethane parts for uh, all of the uh, side walls and such. It is uh, a kit that you're uh, building up, each aspect of it independently. So you've got your roof here, your two side walls, the uh, underframe and bottom of the car. You've got your caboose ends. And you've got all of your uh, your couple of components. You've got uh, some fine wire that's been provided for the handrails and other such details. You've got your steps. Some additional parts cast in plastic. Additional parts bag with polyurethane and other little bits and pieces. and a decal kit. So it would take a lot of uh, work and expertise to put one of these together to make it look great, um, but I have seen examples that are just jaw-dropping. I can't unfortunately show you one. The best that I can do is is show you this first release of the uh, Rapido Caboose, just to show you uh, what it would generally look like. Um, these are very close um, in regards to uh, uh, details and scale and such. There is a little bit of variance in some of the fine details, of course. Um, and Ontario Northland, I'm sorry, Rapido is uh, about to release a second run of these cars, which I'm sure I'll talk about in a few videos from now.
Next, taking a look at the ONR short barrel or cars. So these were available in both uh, five packs and singles. I don't have a uh, I don't have an example of a single to show you for the short barrel or car, but here is a single for the uh, long barrel version that we'll talk about shortly. And when you uh, take off the protective film, you'll see that everything is is nicely ra uh, wrapped up to uh, protect damage and such to the uh, to the car. So here is one of the car bodies unwrapped. So this is what it would look like in its raw form. And of course you'd have a little bit of finishing work and such to do to, to make her look spotless. Here you have your car under frames. The wire for the handrails and such is already green in color, which is convenient. A Ziploc bag with all of your, uh, your detail parts, both in plastic, polyurethane, and some uh, copper wire for grabs and such. This would be... Uh, um, largely brake details, brake cylinder details and otherwise. Here you have your roof hatch details and the, uh, the outside uh, uh, periphery for the actual car body. So I wish I had a built-up example to show you, but I don't. We are just, uh, in theory, weeks away, though, from seeing a, a repeat, uh, a release of the short barrel ore cars and the long barrel ore cars from Rapido. So we'll have uh, something which is uh, commercially available, as opposed to uh, the Sylvan kits. So unfortunately I don't have a built up one of these cars to show you for the same reasons I discussed previous, nor do I have an example of another model. Uh, these have only ever been available through Sylvan models, uh, but that is going to change in just a few weeks time. We're uh, eagerly anticipating um, the release from Rapido Trains of their short barrel and long barrel ore cars.
And in the box we also have uh, the same literature we saw with the caboose, talking about the history of the actual cars, providing some pictures uh, to aid you in construction. Some additional details of the model. And here we have a guide uh, in regards to uh, the paint and decal requirements. And the, uh, the kit came with all the required decals as well. Now the long barrel ore cars, wrapped up similar to what we observed previous. So as you can see, once again, all the resin uh, pieces are nicely wrapped up, so they're protected for shipping. And rather than fully disturb that uh, that five car pack, I will open up the single that I have of this car. Looks like I had this open once upon a time already. So, same thing we saw with the uh, same thing that we saw with the uh, short barrel car, uh, but of course just a little bit longer. Your under frame and your uh, other car components. Your decals, your wire, your um, outside frame, Some additional uh, plastic and copper wire pieces. And the same instructional information that we saw with the previous kit. These had been released such that they weren't uh, specific to either the short car or the long car, but uh, for both variations. So sorry if this video was a little dull um, and that I did not have any uh, car models to actually show you. But uh, like I said, in just a few weeks here, we're anticipating having some uh, nice models from Rapido that I look forward to showing uh, to you and perhaps comparing to these historic Sylvan sets. Thank you, take care and have a good day.